Hello everybody, Winton here. The reason why I'm sharing my testimony today is to inspire and edify all those who may relate to my story as well as to those who I have had the pleasure of working with over the course of the past two years. Ever since I was a child, I was raised in a Christian household. My father was and still is a pastor who shared the gospel and raised up churches and congregations worldwide. My parents were never the type of people to pressure the religious beliefs on me or my siblings, but they wanted to give us free will, wanting us to believe not because of them, but because we genuinely wanted to live a life for Christ. As far as I'm concerned, I've had a very tumultuous childhood. For those of you who had had the chance to converse with me, you know I've had an extended history within my childhood of stealing, lying, deceit, causing trouble to my parents, affairs with girls I did not have a solid relationship with, a steaming pornographic addiction. But on top of all of that, I had an ultimate determination to win and to be the best of the best in whatever trade I pursue. Until I was around 16, I never really paid attention to all of my faith or spiritual life. However, one thing I developed around this time was a burning passion to serve people and my community. This was made manifest over my tenure at the fast food chain I worked at, as well as my growing passion for the military. When I began building interest into the Marine Corps, my lifestyle began to shift. I started networking with officers and other commanding figures across the nation, and I developed a level of patriotism which was literally idolatry in the eyes of God. I began to put my love for country before God. My parents eventually talked me out of the military, but I put that dream on the side. My passion to serve was still there, and my patriotism was still brewing. That's when I entered the world of politics, and with a few friends who had similar interests, we set up an organization, the likes of which we believed was bound to take over the country by storm. And we thought that we were serving God that way. Turns out we weren't. One pivotal moment came when I realized that my drive and efforts, while well-intentioned, were misaligned with the true calling of a living, Christ-centered life. I had been focused on earthly achievements and recognition, placing them above my relationship with God. This realization was humbling, and it made me reevaluate re my priorities and the mission of our organization. God, through my parents, was able to convince me that the path I was on wasn't right. And after a lot of prayer, debate, and discussion, we eventually decided to close a political organization that I founded. Now, by that time, I decided to get baptized and I decided to dedicate my life for Christ. And instead of focusing my life on winning votes and ballots, my mission was shifted to winning souls and crowns. I still have a deep desire to serve my community. Only this time, my service must represent Christ in every way. There are countless ways to serve Christ, and I believe that God will guide me towards success in this ultimate mission. This journey of faith has showed me the importance of aligning my actions with my beliefs, whether it's through ministry, community service, or simply living a life that reflects pure Christian values. I am committed to making that positive impact. My goal is to inspire others to seek a relationship with God and to contribute to a world that embodies His love and truth. This new direction in my life fills me with a sense of purpose and fulfillment, knowing that my efforts are now dedicated to a cause greater than any political ambition. So I highly encourage anybody, any of you who want to make a great impact in this world, instead of doing it through the means of carnal intelligence and secular wisdom, do it according to the Bible do it according to God. Do it for Christ. That's my testimony. God bless.